I wanted to record a video for y'all regarding H200 troubleshooting uh, for common errors and other common frustrations that happen when trying to use it with a patient. Um, I will start with some of the more uh, simple things that happen in some cases, and that is uh, the complaints when you try to go input a patient into the system and you want to input their information, but the new logo is grayed out. Um, now I understand some of y'all don't have the same tablet that I'll be working on, but it's the same overall program, even if you're using it on the Palm Pilot type system. So if these buttons are grayed out with the new button there, you just have to make sure that first off it's plugged in to the program cable. Um, so honestly, in most cases, this is just the one thing that people have forgotten to do. Um, so as soon as you plug that in there, that logo will appear as an orange icon there where you can click new. Let's say that does not work. Um, what, what it pro most likely is, is this battery in the control unit is too low, so it will not communicate with the orthosis. Um, the only other option that can be going on is that either the wire or the USB port that it plugs into is faulty. Um, that is something where you can contact me or tech support to figure out and we can see if the facility needs to order a new one or if it's under, covered under your warranty. Um, so that's usually the first error that somebody can run into. Um, let's say you actually get past that part everything is working well, um, you go to start the stimulation and you get a red arrow, you get a red light, I should say, on the software and also on the orthosis. If you have a flashing red light right here on the orthosis and a red light on the program itself, what that means is a faulty electrode contact. Um, so in that case, the electrode itself is not making enough contact with the skin. Uh, what, can, what can happen with that is when you're on the programmer, you click on that red error there. Just give me a little example of this. So I have the red error message right there. You click on it and it will tell you exactly what's wrong. So. Here it's that I have faulty electrode, electrode contact. Um, so exactly what it is, is like right here, you can see that I do not have enough contact here with the H200 to my skin. So and that is causing the error there. Um, if you're not sure what part of the orthosis it is, try to pay attention to if you're working on extension or flexion. If you don't get a error with extension, but then you do get one with flexion, try to see if there's any air gaps between the patient's skin and the orthosis. Often what it is is somebody has a very thin forearm and they're not making good enough contact for, with it. So we have the FPL electrode right here. I do not have the FPL bump out in this orthosis, but if they are not making enough contact, see if you put that FPL bump out, which is in your clinician's kit. It's another added buildup in thickness there. If you put that on, that should resolve the issue if that's where the air gap was on their forearm there. So faulty electrode contact is a main error that we get. Also, there's just, you may get an error message that you're getting too low of battery. So you can click on that. Obviously the solution with that is easy. Um, it's just, that you um, need, to, need to charge the control unit. Um, a third common error is that there's a radio frequency error. Uh, so this can be a couple things. It could either be that wire is not quite reliable or the port to the uh, handheld control unit is also not reliable. So that's something we can troubleshoot. Uh, or more simply, this control unit may be too far away from the orthosis while you're actually programming it. So you want this to be within line of sight and have this control unit as close as you can in the clinical setting to the orthosis while you're setting it up. Um, so that should help to resolve quite a few issues. Um, lastly is just if the program freezes. 
Um, so one thing that you can do in this instance is if the H200 program is frozen, you can swipe from left to right, and that should minimize the screen. If the screen is able to be minimized like that, there's an X logo at the top. You just click the X there and then restart the program and that should resolve it. If you can't even minimize or can't X out of the screen, then obviously it is, it is more frozen. So that's when we need to do the hard reset option. That is done by doing a 30 second hold on top of the tablet like that until the tablet turns off. And then when you're ready to restart it, you hold it for a couple seconds again until that programmer turns back on. Um, that is about it for the common errors. Uh, the only thing else that could possibly be going on is if nothing else solves that, you may have some corrosion in the electrode ports. So you can clean under where the electrodes go, these little metal ports here, you can clean those with rubbing alcohol as well as under the panels you can clean those with rubbing alcohol as well. Uh, there is also a hard reset option here where you have the device on, you hold this for about 20 seconds until the control unit beeps, and that will help to clear up any other remaining issues that may be due to the hardware.